Hi guys and welcome back to the Purely Automotive channel. I'm Jason and you join me in the garage today as we're about to do a full detail on the 88-91 Honda Civic 4th Gen. If you tuned into my last video, you'll see the collection and introduction video where I showed you around the car. So today we're going to start the cleanup. Uh, if you've seen our Honda Beat previous detailing videos, uh, you'll know the, the meticulous kind of process that I go through. So we'll run through that again on this car as this one is in similar, maybe worse condition as it wasn't undercover for the period it was in storage. Um, so let's go through, I'll show you through the products and let's get going. So first things first, we've got a Karcher pressure washer. Uh, as for products, we're going to be using uh, Surfex HD built hamber. I love built hamber products, lab tried and tested. Very good value for money. Goes a long way at small dilutions. We've got the built hamber auto foam, great snow foam um, for the outside of the car. Got some detailing brushes, torches, um, brand new key as well, which I got cut last week. I've got some ceramic touch on to go on when we finished everything. Um, as for other decons, we've got auto wheel, which is the kind of iron fallout remover for the wheels. Basically the same thing as Corosol, and it works great on the bodywork as well. In here is 10% dilution Surfex HD. Um, so I'm gonna use that for the lower parts of the cars, the arches and heavy bits of contamination. You'll see some other bits around here. We've got the center console, manual, manual, and an S20 gearbox. Is it S20? No, D14 gearbox. Manual conversion coming soon. So first things first is simply to blast the car off with the pressure washer, just to get rid of any moss and loose dirt that's on the car before we attack it with any product. Next up is snow foam. This is built hammer. It's at a 6% dilution, um, just under maybe a litre. Uh, that'll do the car probably twice. Really good stuff. Let's get it on. That's the snow foam all rinsed and blasted off. Obviously it's soaking wet and completely not sheeting or beading. Uh, we're gonna do a decon now, now that the uh, moss and debris has actually removed the physical hard chunky bits. Uh, so let's uh, do an iron fallout and some general degreasing. Gonna do the lower half of the car just to get rid of any of the heavier road soiling before we touch the car with any kind of contact be it a mitt or a sponge or anything i'll let that dwell very briefly for maybe 30 seconds and then we'll jet wash that off before it starts to dry next up is auto wheel as i say this is a fallout remover similar to corosol slightly thicker so it can dwell and run off wheels and caps, etc. But I'm just gonna apply it to the lower half of the car as a general decon iron fallout remover, knowing this car has been left outside on a fairly busy road. It's gonna be very heavily contaminated and disgusting. Just leaving the iron fallout to bleed. Now you see there's a couple of small, small bits and Lots of little purple specks that are starting to rain, but it's generally not actually as bad as I was anticipating. Much, much cleaner than I than I kind of thought. There's a few little bits here. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing crazy. The back end is a bit worse, um, but it's all being dissolved as we speak. It's turning purple. It's all raining out, um, bleeding as they say. Um, another little bit here that's quite good. But yeah, not bad. So that is the whole car decontaminated now. Degreased, iron fallout, double snow foamed, and completely jet washed before and after about three times. So we've got most of the dirt off of the paint. Obviously it's soaking wet still. Um, now I'm gonna move on to the contact wash. Clay wiring will come later on.
This is the shampoo of choice, simply because it was cheap and on offer, and you get a whole gallon for about 20 quid. It does all right, to be fair. It's nothing, nothing too special, just a splash. Obviously, we're going to go with the two bucket method. So we've got one just of clean, fresh, cold water and some warm water. Probably, I don't know, 50 mil of the product, maybe slightly more, maybe 100 mil. And uh, just uh, sudded it up, mixed it up using the jet wash. And sticking with the theme, built hamber noodle mitt. Really heavy, really thick. Inside holds absolutely tons of water. It's almost too heavy and too chunky. Nice handle to hook it up to dry it off as well nice bit of kit that lasts forever this is probably the third one i bought in i don't even know how many years good bit of kit always do linear motions along with the panel direction, never in circles to induce swirling or marring. Obviously this paint's getting corrected anyway, but still a good habit. Okay, so the car's clean. Uh, I've just dried it off. Uh, obviously it's pink and flat, but we're gonna machine polish that at a later date. Next, the engine bay. So I didn't really film cleaning the engine bay as I had my hands full with degreaser and um, detailing brushes. It's not perfect, I've only done it quickly, um, but I've got rid of all the all the crap that was in the shuts, uh, the hinges, scuttle panel, slam panel, down in and around. Here it's all a lot better than it was. I lost the decal off the top of the cam belt cover, which is annoying, but never mind, doesn't do anything. Um, I need to clean the gearbox, but it's had a leak at some point, um, but that manual box is going in, which I'm going to clean up in a minute. So I'm not too fast and that can do, that can happen at a later date. Um, but yeah, that's the engine bay, much cleaner, nice and presentable. Um, I will probably give it a better further detail when it comes to uh, upcoming events, which I'll talk to you about in a second. So I've got some extra news. Um, I've been invited to display this car at Silverstone at Japfest 2023, 23rd of April uh, next month. Uh, the car will be on display at the Civic Anniversary stand. So come and say hi, come and have a look at the car. Feel free to ask any questions. Um, it'd be nice to meet uh, whoever's decided to subscribe and watch this channel. Any uh, criticisms, cool. Uh, any suggestions, cool. Um, just come and say hi. It'd be nice to meet some of you at Silverstone Japfest 2023. So I will see you guys there in the fourth gen, which is going to be on display. Cool. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If not, it's cool. At Purely Automotive on Instagram. I'm Jason. See you soon. Cheers.